A snowstorm and brutal cold hit an unprepared energy system and left nearly 5 million customers in Texas, North Dakota, Arkansas, Louisiana, and Mississippi in the dark. Power companies in affected states had to resort to rolling power blackouts to save their networks from collapsing, leaving households and businesses without power and heat. What is our priority for, uh, for keeping the lights on and the heat on or the, the air conditioning on to people in situations of extreme weather? In recent years, power grids have come to rely more on wind and solar power to meet increasing electricity demands. But the alternative energy sources can sometimes vary with the weather. And this weather was severe enough to hit both wind and gas fire generation in Texas. And there wasn't enough reserve power to keep the lights on or the heat or even the water in some places. You cannot force a government mandate on certain things that aren't ready to supply the basic uh, needs of people. To make things worse, the winter storm crippled U.S. oil and gas production, reducing it by more than a third. In the Permian Basin, major producer Occidental told customers it would be forced to curtail oil deliveries, while Chevron shut some wells in the region. More than 20 refineries were disrupted by the polar blast, sending gasoline futures surging. This is a timely reminder for a wake-up call, really, and saying that, yeah, we absolutely need fossil fuel yeah. in the mix. It's about how we get it greener. Temperatures in Texas were low enough to freeze oil and gas liquids in pipelines laid on the ground just as the cold caused demand to jump. As we here in Texas have said that renewable energy has priority on our grid, we've discouraged uh, people coming in and building power plants that run off of natural <laughs> gas, which is more of a reliable source than, than as everyone knows, wind and, and uh, sun is. This energy crisis is severe, but not new. Almost a fifth of the power capacity in Texas failed in February 2011 during another cold snap. And California suffered blackouts during a heat wave last August. Not to mention multiple wildfires that in recent years have been linked to its power grids. I mean, this situation to me is, is very reminiscent of Hurricane Katrina. And then over the course of the following week, it suddenly you know, emerged as a, as a horrendous disaster.